This is Ed from Exotic Blanks welcoming you to another YouTube video. This time we're going to explore a little uh, making a new blank that we have called Tornadic Twists. There's a couple of different flavors of this, uh, lots of different colors, um, and some of them have the twist and some of them are vertical uh, windows. It's an interesting new design and so I thought I'd spend a little time showing you how to get a great pen out of it. So let's get started. You receive the blank as a five inch piece, which is actually composed of two separate pieces. Uh, the best way that I've found is to cut this right down the middle, or if you can see the separation between the two, cut in the separation between the two. Uh, in this case, a picture is worth a thousand words. You can see the black outline of a round uh, blank, and you can see that it has a red center. Uh, that's really what you're aiming for. You'd like to get the center of this marked on both ends. Once you've marked the center of it on both ends, then you can mount it between centers to turn it down so that you can drill and make sure that you're drilling in the dead center of the blank. Having established the center, we can now drill it. And what I did with this was drill both pieces with a uh, 10.5 millimeter drill bit. The 10.5 millimeter bit left enough meat on the um, blank that I was comfortable that it would not shatter and it didn't. It worked real easily. Uh, then I picked the side that I wanted to be the cap and um, did that in the 12.5. So I put the 12.5 bit through the hole that I had already made with the 10.5. Uh, it was relatively simple and uh, uneventful. So that's what you're seeing here. Once that was done, I did a few things that I did not videotape. First of all, uh, the blank was back painted, that is the inside of the hole was painted with a burgundy, uh, which is self-mixed. It ended up burgundy or brown. I'm learning that the color that you back paint is not really as important as the fact that you do it. Uh, the background really turns nice and that gives you a much better um, end product if you have done some back painting. Um, in this case, I say I use burgundy. I could have used black probably. Uh, I don't think it makes an awful lot of difference, but it does make the pen look really much better with uh, with the back painting done. Here we have the uh, tube is finished and uh, it's been back painted and the uh, brass tube has been inserted. What I'm trying to show there is the distance back that the brass tube is from the end. I'm going to have to cut off part of this and I wanted to show how much of it I have to cut off. Um, in order to do that, I decided I wanted to do it on the lathe uh, because it is a round object and I didn't want to use a bandsaw. So I put the uh, blank into my uh, scroll chuck and turned off the end. Uh, this is using a parting tool. When you're working with these blanks, from time to time you will run into a bubble that did not uh, did not set right when they made the blank. Now I used to say that was typical of handmade blanks. It's actually typical of any blank that has this kind of pattern on it. We've purchased some from commercial outlets and they're, they also have this problem. So what you need to do is learn how to fix it. And what we're going to show here is taking the blank with the small air hole or air bubble and how I played with it and made it kind of disappear. The first thing you need to be aware of is that you want it to be absolutely clean. If there's dust in the uh, in the air bubble it will show up as being white and when you're finished it will be underneath the repair and it will be white and it will not look good. So the first thing you need to do is clean it up. Um, I use uh, boiled linseed oil most of the time. This particular time I used um, alcohol because I couldn't find any BLO. Uh, then we take thin CA and I put a little pad down and poured it on there and then went into the hole with a Q-tip. Um, it doesn't really matter how you do this. Just don't get a whole mess of it on there. Um, and it'll be a little easier to clean it up. So if you can put it on, but make sure it is proud of the hole. Make sure that when you're finished, you have a little bump there. Once the CA has time to uh, set thoroughly, uh, hour, two hours, <clears throat> time that you 
make sure that it's very hard because obviously when you're going to put a tool across it, you're going to take a sharp tool and uh, just turn off that section that has the, the high spots there. So um, you'll see I approach this fairly gently. Uh, it is a very sharp half-inch skew, and I'm really trying to take off the glue without doing much more turning because it was just about the right diameter. So this is kind of fine turning. You're making sure that everything comes off and, and trying to be very careful not to dig into your blank in any way, shape, or form. As you can see here, it's hard because it's not very close, but it came out really well. Uh, this came off almost completely, and um, when I was finished, I had a real difficult time finding where that was. Uh, so as I start to sand, you'll see that the sandpaper comes off relatively evenly. In other words, we have white uh, sanded section all across it. We don't have any shiny spots. Uh, in case you haven't seen my other videos, the shiny spot is generally a low spot where you dug in too far, and so you have to sand down to it. Uh, in this case, there was no such problem, so it was just a matter of sanding it. The first one is 400 grit, um, and what I'm trying to show here is you really can't even see the uh, see the uh, air bubble anymore. The succession then is 400 grit to 600 grit. Uh, and then I took it over to the buffing station and buffed it with Tripoli and White Diamond. Um, that's all there is to making the pen. Um, it's not a difficult process. Remember when you're lining everything up. I didn't really go through this. When you take, when you put your brass tubes in, measure the brass tube against the blank and look to see what you want to end up with. You've got two radial black lines. And they're on both ends of it. So now you have to determine if you're going to cut it where it's not going to be on a black line. How is it going to look and how is the pattern going to come out? Uh, I ended up with one that I'm pretty happy with. Uh, as you can see, the picture shows that it's um, it's a pretty looking pen. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is Ed at Exotic Blanks. Bye now and good turning to you.